So Ethereum is sitting at 29.16 and we saw a drop uh, visually. You can see it. We saw a drop here. So this was the previous drop, which was at 28.74. And this one is a bit higher. Same case scenario, if you look at a Bitcoin case scenario, Bitcoin did the exactly same thing. And we saw the top at $3,000, uh, $3,004.6. Uh, we had a sell order at 3K before you think I'm lying all the time. I wonder if I can hide her number. I can put an, oh, you can't see full number anyway. Um, so you can see my message. Did it sell at 3K? <laughs> so, and then, uh, and then, yeah, she responded. She, she said, yes. And she said, perfect. So that was a good part of it. So I, I was expecting a reaction on the 3K. Um, unfortunately, there's not much views on my videos. So I didn't bother making video. But um, I was expecting a reaction from there. And uh, we went back and tested $2,900. And now it is trying to go up again. But the thing is that uh, we need a break below 2880 The moment it breaks below, forget 2880 Let's call it 2874 uh, the previous low. Okay, this one. The moment you see it breaking below this, uh, that is going to pretty much declare that this thing is now going down. Even though right now it's sitting at 29.18, this is just a, a fake out. It's actually creating now um, lower highs, which means this was a high, then the next high is going to be this, then it's going to be the next this. It's just going to create a staircase for you like this. So every time it goes up, it gives you hope, but in reality, it doesn't. That is the story in the short time frame. In longer time frame, of course, it is moving just sideways, the movement here. It's not much when you look at the bigger time frame, but we are discussing short time frame, so this is what I expect. If this thing drops, you are talking about 2600 as your stop. I'll come back and update you what to expect next.